mobility that relies on market-driven economic mechanisms may pose a threat to the regions that are heavily dependent on tourism, such as ultra periphery. Mobility in the Croatian islands, they generally serve uh, the tourists rather than locals. And it's especially acute um, in the ultra-periphery um, in, in Europe as well. In Croatia, you can probably find a bunch of private car operators that drive tourists to Game of Thrones locations, for instance. And yet you may struggle as a local uh, to, get, uh, to get to the hospital during the winter season. Public transport in the islands only exists on the larger areas in the islands. But even then, it is very poor uh, in quality. Uh, in the last 30 years, everything from public incentives and investments from transport went into highways. It's a consequence of mobility uh, being developed in an unplanned and liberalized uh, way. The main paradox and challenge here is uh, how to continue to travel for tourist purposes in a way that is not only environmentally friendly, but also socially and economically just. The way that uh, benefits uh, both tourists and those who are employed uh, in, in tourism. So if we want to ensure that tourists arrive to the islands in a sustainable way, the solution is to subsidize more and to boost uh, national train operators instead of private bus operators. Finally, I would say that mobility should be addressed as a human right. Um, green technology and resources may be part of the solution for climate goals, but still we need to pay attention to how many people are and how many people will be able to use these resources. Sustainable is not just green, uh, but it's also affordable, accessible and high quality mass transport, in my opinion, that really move from cars or at least make people uh, less dependent on them.